Ford's 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 promised the power of a V8, the efficiency of a four-cylinder, and the toughness to handle anything from city streets to rocky trails. From towing heavy loads to tackling off-road trails, Ford's 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 has become a fan favorite, but not without a few bumps along the way. Today, we uncover the engineering real-world performance, flaws, and the surprising reliability story behind this advanced engine. Whether you're a truck owner, Bronco fan, or just love smart engine tech, you won't want to miss this. The Ford 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 made its debut in 2015, first appearing in the Ford F-150 and later expanding across various models including the Ford Edge Sport, Fusion Sport, and several Lincoln vehicles. This engine was introduced as a more advanced, fuel-efficient, power-dense and high-torque alternative to the aging 3.7-liter Duratec V6, which was naturally aspirated and known more for reliability than innovation. The 2.7-liter EcoBoost brought a fresh balance of performance and efficiency to Ford's lineup, offering V8-like power in a smaller, lighter package. The Ford 2.7-liter EcoBoost is a V6 engine with six cylinders arranged in a 60-degree V configuration. It features twin single-scroll turbochargers, dual overhead camshafts for valves per cylinder, and twin independent variable camshaft timing, TVCT. The fuel delivery system uses a dual injection setup in the second generation, incorporating both port and direct fuel injection. The engine block is constructed from compacted graphite iron, a material typically found in heavy-duty diesel engines, while the cylinder heads are made from aluminum alloy, balancing strength and thermal efficiency. Another game-changing technology is its integrated exhaust manifolds, which are cast directly into the cylinder heads. This allows the turbos to spool faster, reduces turbo lag, and improves thermal efficiency, especially under towing or performance loads. While the 2.7-liter EcoBoost shares much of its DNA with its bigger brother, the 3.5-liter EcoBoost, the latter is physically larger and more powerful, designed for heavier-duty applications, offering higher towing capacities and greater output, especially in its high-output variant found in the F-150 Raptor. The 2.7-liter, on the other hand, is lighter, more compact, and aimed at balancing everyday drivability with solid performance. It's the smarter pick for those who want punchy acceleration without the added weight or fuel demands of the 3.5 liter, making it ideal for mid-sized trucks and performance crossovers. Depending on the model and tuning, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost produces between 315 and 335 horsepower and torque ranges from 350 to 400 pound-feet. Despite its power, it maintains impressive fuel economy. With EPA ratings up to 20 miles per gallon in the city and 26 on the highway when equipped in lighter vehicles like the Ford Edge. In trucks like the F-150, the engine allows for a maximum towing capacity of up to 8,500 pounds and a payload capacity around 2,250 pounds, depending on configuration. This engine is typically mated to Ford's 10-speed automatic transmission, which contributes to both performance and efficiency with its wide gear ratio spread and smart shift mapping. There isn't just one version of the 2.7-liter EcoBoost. The first-generation 2.7-liter EcoBoost debuted in 2015, mainly featured in the aluminum-bodied F-150, Ford Edge Sport, and Lincoln MKX. While it offered impressive performance for its time, it wasn't without its flaws. Notably, some early models experienced oil pan gasket leaks and long-term carbon buildup from its direct injection-only setup. Then came the second generation in 2018, and that's where things got really interesting. Ford didn't just tweak the engine, they re-engineered it. This updated version brought in dual fuel injection, combining both direct and port injection to solve the carbon buildup issue while improving combustion efficiency. Turbochargers were redesigned with electronically actuated wastegates and new higher pressure EGR system for quicker response and more precise boost control. The internals were also enhanced with stronger camshaft phasers, revised valve train components, variable displacement belt-driven oil pump, and plasma arc cylinder liners that reduced friction and improved thermal management. These upgrades made the engine not only more powerful and efficient, but also more durable, especially under heavy loads or aggressive driving conditions, something critical for trucks and off-road-focused vehicles like the Ford Bronco. Tuners appreciate the stoutness of its CGI block, and the engine's ability to handle more boost 
than it gets from the factory. With just a tune, owners are seeing substantial gains in both horsepower and torque, easily pushing this engine well beyond the 400 horsepower mark. The electronically controlled turbos also respond well to ECU remapping, and with the added fuel delivery from the dual injection system, there's plenty of tuning headroom to work with. It's a modern engine that blends efficiency, power, and modability. And that's exactly why it's become such a favorite among performance enthusiasts and everyday drivers alike. The 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 has been widely used across Ford and Lincoln's lineup, finding its way into a range of vehicles where performance and efficiency need to coexist. It first appeared in the 2015 Ford F-150, particularly in the Lariat and XLT trims, where its lightweight powertrain matched perfectly with the truck's new aluminum body. It's also been a key engine option in the Ford Edge Sport starting in the 2015 model year, where it continues to deliver punchy acceleration. The 2.7 liter is also found in the Lincoln MKX from 2016 through 2018, offering a refined but powerful drive in the luxury crossover segment. In recent years, it's become one of the most popular engine choices in the Ford Bronco, specifically in the 2021 and newer models in trims like the Wild Track and Badlands, where low-end torque and durability are crucial for off-road performance. You'll also find it in the 2023 and newer Ford Ranger Raptor tuned for high output use in rugged conditions. As for reliability, this engine has earned its stripes on the long haul. Owners have reported 2.7-liter EcoBoost engines surpassing 250,000 miles with only routine maintenance. Like any high-tech engine, the 2.7-liter EcoBoost hasn't been entirely free from issues, especially in its first generation. The most common early issue was oil pan leaks, particularly on 2015 through 2017 models, where RTV sealant failed prematurely, prompting Ford to issue a TSB, recalls and redesign the pan. Timing chain rattle was another concern, mostly in 2016 through 2018 builds. Ford eventually improved the tensioners and chain geometry in response. Another problem reported on some early models was coolant intrusion due to head gasket failure, where coolant would seep into the combustion chamber, potentially causing white smoke, rough running, or even internal damage over time if left unchecked. While not as widespread, it was a notable concern and led many owners to pursue repairs under powertrain warranty. A more serious issue arose in the 2021 and 2022 model years, specifically affecting the Ford Bronco and some F-150s equipped with the second-gen 2.7-liter EcoBoost. A batch of intake valves made from substandard material was found to be prone to cracking under stress. This led to engine misfires and, in some cases, catastrophic engine damage. Ford issued a technical service bulletin and quietly replaced affected engines under warranty. Despite these problems, the overall track record of the 2.7-liter EcoBoost remains strong, especially for second-gen models.